what is considered healthy but is actually bad for you? Those so-called fruit drinks that are promoted as containing 100 of the daily value of vitamin C, but they're full of sugar, artificial flavors and high fructose corn syrup. It's depressing seeing people just fall for it, thinking that it's healthy when it's actually awful for them. Whatever Gwyneth Paltrow says. Toxic productivity. The hustle culture, putting in unpaid hours, pretty much everything on LinkedIn. Juice cleanses. Hey let's just drink 80 grams of sugar for every meal for a week I feel so healthy and cleansed, smiley face. Some granolas. They can have way more sugar than kids cereals yet marketed as health foods. Of course not all granola is like that though. Fat free. Douche. For real. Muffins. I remember in the 90s being marketed as healthy brand muffins anyone. LOL. Develop wrong sense of entitlement thinking that's what self-esteem means. Defining yourself by how busy you are. Watching the news. Fruit juice. Low fat diets. This was big in the 90s, but since then, it's been found out it's very stressful to the body to not get an adequate amount of healthy fats. The serving size on a bag of chips. Charcoal toothpaste and toothbrushes. Supposedly gives your teeth a wider appearance but actually scrapes away your enamel. Pore strips. Causes more damage than good and only provides temporary results. I think it's better recognized now as not good for you, but Kraft's peanut butter and Nutella used to be advertised as healthy breakfast spreads. Sujere overload. Bathing every day and multiple times a day, specifically bad for eczema people. Yes it's healthy in terms of logical sense, but for people with eczema, apparently bathing a lot will dry you out faster, so on the contrary, apparently you aren't supposed to bathe multiple times a day even if you have the curse that is eczema hydrogenitis securitiva cellulitis. Low fat anything. Took out the fat. Took out the flavor. Never mind throw in a few teaspoons of sugar HFCS and all's good still low fat. Subway. Diet soda, because the only thing getting thinner is the lining of your stomach. Orthorexia. Avoiding carbs at all costs. I'm always so tired. No fucking way Janet, you're starving yourself. Sultana brand. Don't tell them it's healthy and they'll eat it by the box full. Because that would be an exaggeration 62.8 carbohydrates 28.9 sugar. FanDuel Technically everything healthy is bad for you if you have too much of it. Drinking way too much water in such a short amount of time. Detox products Marketing stuff as detox this and detox that but none of those products do anything to detox. Those teas, candies, and pills are basically laxities, sometimes even containing other ingredients not listed on the box like caffeine and other medicinal herbs to counterbalance the negative effects. The only way to detox is to take care of your liver, kidneys, and spleen. Drink water, it'll be better for you. Poison sandwich with extra lettuce. Cereal? Watching porn. So many processed foods are marketed as healthy or natural and in reality they have 20 grams of sugar added to make it taste good. It's insane. Everything has sugar added to it. A lot of fad diets like keto or no fat or any other diet you might find in a magazine or that one friend at Zumba class told you about. Well, they aren't inherently unhealthy, but more often than not, they're used for weight loss and as a personal trainer. I see far too often that people yo-yo diet which is just diet hopping and following your diet one day to cheat the next. Diet hopping is very unhealthy not only physically but can develop into eating disorders. On top of all that, you make no progress with a yo-yo diet. Matcha from fast food places like Starbucks specifically because they're actually filled with so much sugar. I buy them at Whole Foods or Target has a nice brand that's just pure organic matcha that is the actual healthy kind. The sheer number of low-fat products that simply replace the fat with sugar. 
Fresh orange juice more sugar than a can of Coke plus all the beneficial fiber has been removed making it spike blood sugar levels rapidly. Bodybuilding. Especially the competitions. They quite literally starve themselves to get to a as low as possible body fat percentage so their muscles pop more.